Hi everybody, this is Diane and I have a happy mail. I've been busy cleaning and I opened my front door to shake a rug out and I found a box on my front porch. Uh, this is from Mary and she has a YouTube channel called Plethora of Paper. I will link her channel below. You should all go check her out and subscribe to her channel. She does a lot of haul videos and uh, some of it is vintage and some of it is not vintage like um, stores and online stuff but she does um, go to estate sales and she finds some good vintage things so she has a lot of fun things to see on her channel and she also creates journals so mary thank you this was a much bigger fuller box than i expected um so let's take a look Ooh. So she told me, I thought she said she was sending Holly Hobby stuff, um, but the note says she found Raggedy Ann and Holly Hobby items, and she filled the box with miscellaneous items. So, yes, we see Raggedy Ann right on the top here. But first we have these, um, these are the buttons that you would cover with fabric to match your outfit. My mother used to do them when she made clothes for I think I don't think she ever did them on my clothes, but I think she did them when she made jackets for my dad and some other buttons here. I saw she recently got a lot of buttons. Through the menu with Jello, 10 cents a package. Well, you know that's old. 1927. Holy cow. That's old. Paradise pudding. It's definitely an old picture. I love the old Jello books. The pictures are just so gorgeous. Thank you. And here is a Royal cookbook <coughs> from Royal Baking Powder. Look at the donuts. They look good. That strawberry cake. Everything here looks good. No pictures inside. 1927 recipes um, will be really great for making ephemera. And I think I could actually use the pages as pages in a journal. This looks like origami paper. A little square of it. Beautiful. I love the feel of it. So pretty. Looks like maybe six by six. And there's uh, metallics on every page. Those are gorgeous. I can make some funny thumber with that. So we have a couple of raggedy. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Look at all the raggedy handbooks. Raggedy Ann's Lucky Pennies. I don't think I have this one. I have several Raggedy Ann books that are waiting to be made into journals. I just showed them in a video not too long ago. 1932. Wow. And it is illustrated by the author, Johnny Gruel. <laughs> yeah, that's really cute. You know, I'm going to read my Raggedy Ann books before I cut them up. This is a gorgeous piece of lace, and it's one of those that you can cut into little pieces and use the pieces. That's gorgeous. I like the color, too. Some wrapping paper. You know what? I'm going to set this... I didn't really clear space to do this. I just found the box and brought it in here to open it. I'm gonna move this over here and just pull from it. So this is a thin, almost like tissue paper. It's not old, well, it's not very old, but it's got vintage looking um, pictures on it of children. That's really sweet. It's a good sized piece of it. 
I love the shape books. I love using them in journals, the pages, but I've never seen this one. The Raggedy Ann and Andy book, 1972. Oh, how sweet. You're very generous, Mary. We have Raggedy Andy stories. This was a loved book, 1960. But the copyright is 1920. These are old stories. Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy's Friendly Fairies. I either have this or had it. So Raggedy Ann and Andy aren't in this, I don't think, but it's by the same author and it's like little fairy stories. I'm gonna read this too. sure if I have this one. Raggedy Ann in Cookie Land. I don't think I have this one. Nineteen thirty one. Oh, it's printed nineteen sixty. Probably the first one wasn't really nineteen thirty one either. Well it doesn't say, but I'm sure this is a newer edition of it, but still vintage. Aww. These illustrations are just so cute. There's some really uh, funny characters in the Raggedy Ann stories. Oh, the cookie people. He broke. I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about um, the Shrek movies with the gingerbread man. He says, not my gun gumdrop buttons. This is really cute. Raggedy Ann stories. Oh, look at the ice cream. Nineteen sixty one. Original copyright is nineteen eighteen. Wow. Raggedy Ann and the Golden Butterfly. I think I do have this one. I don't think that I can use the covers for most of these as a journal cover because they're pretty warped, but I can definitely use the pages and illustrations. And I do love the illustrations. And there are such wonderful quotes in a Raggedy Ann story. I have made Raggedy Ann books, journals, and I and I filled them with beautiful, not filled them, but put them all throughout the journal. Just cut out some of the quotes from the books. And they're always just wonderful quotes. I don't think I have this one, Raggedy Ann in the Deep, Deep Woods. So maybe I could make myself a journal with this. It is warped, but not as bad as the others. And I love that cover. Nineteen sixty. That's it for the Raggedy Ann books. Got a little bit of fabric here. I always love some vintage fabric. They do look vintage. They're, they're lovely. Thank you. She's filling in all the gaps in the box. Oh, look at these numbers. Little plastic numbers. She has probably heard me say that I love numbers. She watches my videos. They're cool. Nice bright red numbers. Fun. 
there's a little tab so I could glue them down with the tab. They're um, molded so there wouldn't be much surface to glue them down but the tab hopefully would hold them down or I could put them down with eyelets on the tab. Oh look a little teddy bear punch. That's adorable. <laughs> I like him. Some black and white twine, um, baker's twine. I don't have any. I had, I think I have one small piece left. I used the rest of it up for my skunk journals. So thank you for that. Oh, she gave me some beads. I see a holly hobby thing in the box. I'm saving that for last. There's a pretty butterfly. Looks like a little gold filigree thimble. Or maybe it's a bell. Comes in different colors, different metals. Oh, I want to see what this is. Look at that. I, I see some brass ones in there too. Beautiful. Lots of pretty interesting beads in here. Thank you. And lastly, Holly Hobby Sew Ons. Oh, they, they still have, they're in their packaging. They were never used. They've got the nice yarn to go with them. And there's two dolls. And lots of outfits. Wow. This is amazing. This is amazing. Thank you. I love these. 1975. They're from color forms. So if you don't know what these are, there are little holes, punch out the little dot there, and there are four holes on the doll. And there must be, I don't see a hole for putting on the hat. There's holes in the hat. Oh, I guess you just put them over their head. But um, the clothes have holes too. Oh, there's six holes. And then you just lace lace the clothing onto the doll. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much, Mary. She saw my video showing my um, Raggedy Ann and Holly Hobby supplies, and she's just so generous in sharing things. I've seen some happy mails that she has sent to other people. So thank you so much, Mary. Um, I told her I would uh, send her a few things, but... She said her next journal is, um, well, I, maybe she doesn't want it known. So I just sold all my supplies for that theme, <laughs> but I'm going to find some things to send her. So thank you, Mary. I really appreciate this. This was really fun, and I'm going to really enjoy these items, all of them, not just the Holly Hobby and Raggedy Ann ones. I like them all. All right, so thank you all for coming to see what Mary sent to me, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a creative day. Bye.